Hello, this is Brian Curtis. This is Simon Monroe Lukowski. Uh, and we are the creators of the uh, short film The Walk Home. Yep. And the special thing about this movie is that we're only there's only two people who worked on it, and you're hearing them right here, <laughs> right now. Yep. Just uh, us two. Yes, just us. Uh, this is a movie we made back in the summer of 2017. It was the final project that I made in my hometown before uh, I moved out and went to start going to college. And uh, Simon, there's a little bit of a backstory on this uh, commentary we were going to do. Uh, would you want to speak on that a little bit? Yeah, so uh, we originally did a commentary uh, last year, shortly after we finished this film. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's just, it's like the quality of it. And obviously, I feel like our minds may have been a bit tinted a bit by, yes. uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. um, our bias. is So um, we just, we decided to do it um one one year later yes uh, on the one year anniversary so of our, this, our so. thoughts would be a little more distant distanced from the uh from the actual movie mm -hmm. originally we were gonna record it and post it on halloween night of last year but we decided to wait till the one year anniversary of the movie so here we are our thoughts will be a little more funneled so we're gonna be uh talking about more of the uh more of the stuff we should be talking about, more of the important stuff. So exactly. without further ado, we'll start this thing up and uh, Let's do it. give you some of our thoughts. Um, so this shot here, I really like this close-up. Um, all this movie was used with natural light, too. We didn't use any lights or anything, so a lot of it was tricky in trying to get the shots to look right. But mm -hmm. I love how uh, how subtle of a scene this is, but how big it is in the entire story of the movie. Yeah, yeah. The so. whole idea is kind of features and, you know, ident identity and hey, Tim. obviously the big twist I at the end over. is that I'm copycatted. Mm -hmm. out, okay? And even Thanks. that wonder Take that care. wonderful voice you're hearing in the background is also me. <laughs> yeah. This was written, directed, and starred by yours truly. And uh, Simon, of course, you're hearing his work right now. Simon did the music. Yeah, uh, the that only, was probably uh, one of my favorite parts of the whole process was recording the, the music. And yeah. I love the title we chose. We went through probably about 10 different titles, but definitely we ended up focusing on just one. Mm -hmm. I feel like this was a, uh, a good one to pick. Uh, yeah. All the ones we came up with. I love this shot. This might be one of my favorite shots in the whole movie. I got that steady shot, not from a dolly track, uh, because the budget was zero dollars. So yeah. I just got in my car, set up the tripod, rolled the windows down, and put that thing in reverse. Smooth and ride, huh? the end product was pretty good. So Yeah, I, I just really love everything about this scene in particular. Just like the lighting. Yeah. The, scene, yeah. Uh, the music. The it's color. Eerie. We got lucky by that guy turning into his... Uh, into his neighborhood and the guy behind me walking so it gives the scene a little more life that was an unintentional thing so both of those guys unfortunately went uncredited because we <laughs> never did get the names but i'll track them down eventually mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah get them for the next uh commentary uh it's worth mentioning all almost all the sound in this movie like that, the phone dropping, the buzzing, the footsteps, the outdoor sounds, they were all recorded uh, in post. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of fun with the sound here. I think this may be the best shot that we've ever done in anything. Hello? Oh, coming up here? Right here. That there? Yeah. This shot this was actually a lot of camera Hello? trickery. I uh, recorded myself twice, and I just overlapped oh. the shots together. I thought it was going to look like crap, but it turned out looking pretty seamless. Not to pat myself on the back too much, but I really like how it turned out. One thing I really like, too, um, about the music is that we discovered so many sounds on our keyboard. Yeah. It's crazy how many different sounds we were able to I, find I'd and use. I'd say it was about 80%. Uh, us working on the music and 20% of us just like screwing around on the keyboard and just Same finding 20% like us working and 80% screwing around yeah yeah <laughs> unfortunately that might be a more true estimate but and this coming up I love the music combined with this transition um it just kind of fades in totally can't tell that those are fake stars or a moon no not at all. <laughs> 
and there's a story behind this fog machine too. The night scene here may be one of the things I'm most proud of in this movie. This shot especially, I love how it turned out. But that fog machine was such a pain because um, I was shooting it late one night, probably at midnight or so. I had just gotten off of work and uh, I was trying to get the fog to roll across the front yard, but I could not get it to work. So essentially what I had to do is plug it into a power strip, plug a fan behind it, put it on low and just let it fly across and it worked perfectly. So yeah, that's a very nice effect. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I especially like how it looks coming up here in a second. Yeah, there we go. That's that's one of my favorite shots in the movie. Um, we're both credited as DP because we really... It was whoever was in the scene or whoever wasn't in the scene was shooting the movie. Yeah. So a lot of it was me setting up the camera and just letting it roll. And then a lot of it was Simon shooting it for me, so... It was, this was definitely a 50-50 movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the spacey atmosphere you set with this part of the score is really good. I think this um, entire segment, uh, well, your character is in the house. I feel like um, that has the most uh, moody music in a way. Yeah. I just feel like it, you know, it goes really well with the atmosphere. I agree. And this is, of course, the setup to the uh, knife that I place at my side. Kind of shows my character becoming a little more paranoid. Mm -hmm. um, Just casually carrying around a butcher's knife. In your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you look in the scene earlier, I'm putting it in my pocket, but it is kind of funny when he just kind of sits down and it pokes him. Um, the, the process of this movie's production was really fragmented. It would just be, I was working a summer job at the time and it'd just be whenever I was free, uh, either in the day or at night, I would just shoot as much as I could. And that could be as much as a scene or as little as one shot or yeah. just getting a sound effect. But our, basically our, our whole summer of last year is dedicated to working on this. And just for two people, I feel like we're pretty productive. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, definitely. We probably, I think the shooting process maybe took three weeks. If uh, that, yeah. Yeah. It went by very quickly. Yeah. And this is a scene I'm I'm pretty proud of. If, if there's one thing I could critique uh, that I'm seeing right now, it would just be I maybe went a little too crazy on the colors and making it look saturated. Um... I feel like it's it's consistent, but at, at the same time, it looks a little too too vibrant at parts. I do like this shot, though. You can definitely tell uh, our inspiration with, like, the 80s horror films. Yeah. So. Yeah, the way it was shot. We used a lot of long takes and the music, of course, too. Yeah, a lot of it was when I was writing the script, I was just listening to, like, John Carpenter's scores, and uh, that was a big part of uh, me trying to inspire simon for the soundtrack for the score and i feel like in the end it really paid off because it's i think one of the strongest parts of the movie mm -hmm. i love I this agree. little build up here i like that of course it's really carnival-esque <laughs> This is when we were thinking about maybe making this a killer clown movie. But, uh... <laughs> I like it because, um, I mean, the music's kind of a good contrast to, uh, you know, the daytime, you know? Yeah. You always think that you're safe during the day. And there's one of our yeah. jump scares. That it's got an enormous amount of blood on that knife from one little cut, but... <laughs> Pretty sure, uh... Some of the neighbors might have been questioning what we were doing at this point. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure a lot of this movie was people questioning what we were doing. When, when, because we, I mean, like, I, like we were saying earlier, this movie was actually real quick. I really like what we did with the music and the whip pan here. I just, I like that effect a lot. Um, but when we're shooting this movie for a budget of zero dollars, 
the style of filmmaking is very guerrilla-esque, just meaning that we just shot this wherever and whenever, you know, who cares about permits and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we just kind of winged it. Uh, so with that, you do get a lot of people like, what are you guys doing, you know? <laughs> we really so we had to that. answer a lot of questions, <laughs> kind of let people know what was going on, but I think it all worked out in the end. A song right here, um, Brian just told me, you know, try to come up with like more of a slower, you know, emotional song. And this was like the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a really, I kind of, it wasn't a really restrictive process for Simon. Because I obviously we've worked together before. I kind of just gave him free reign and I was like, if it fits the scene, it fits the scene. So just kind of mm -hmm. play around and see what you come up with. Yeah, I mean, generally, when you're writing a score for a movie, you don't really go with the first thing you come up with. You know, you kind of get ideas and yeah, build upon those around. and try to make it as perfect as possible. But sometimes it just happens where you get it on the first try, you know? Yeah. I think that was one of the, if not the, one of the only, I think it was the only uh, one where that kind of just, it kind of just fell mm -hmm. together perfectly. Yeah. I really like this shot, the sun kind of, that's our J.J. Abrams shot where we get the lens flare. Mm-hmm. Uh, J.J. Abrams. And there's the great construction of our, our hometown, which is still going on mm -hmm. one yeah, year later. Crazy. So much <laughs> construction going still on. still can't get out of our neighborhood. The car scenes we had a lot of fun with. Um, if it wasn't Simon recording, it was me just setting up the tripod and driving, you know, 30 minutes out of town or wherever, but... Mm -hmm. The guy at this house, uh, questioned us what we were doing. Yeah, <laughs> a couple <laughs> times, yeah. And, uh, I'm, I'm really proud of how he pulled this off. Um, it kind of cuts together fairly seamlessly, but a lot of this was us swapping cars and... Because, of course, the idea is this man who looks just like me has the same car as me. But we use a lot of camera trickery and, you know, smoke and mirrors to shoot through Simon's car to make it look like there is two duplicates. And I, I feel like we, we pulled it off fairly well. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And sorry to have ruined the magic for everyone who thought, <laughs> thought we actually two bought plans. two cars. <laughs> two red SUVs and... Two Brian's. And I let uh, I gave Simon the very trustworthy task of driving my car. Yeah, he knows he, that uh, I wouldn't he, steal it. If I did, yeah. he would probably track me down and beat me up. You can't you can't see it here in the final cut, but when Simon turns that corner, he just completely totaled it. So <laughs> we had to buy a new one. Yep. Came completely out of the budget. I really like this uh, chase scene coming up in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, very well shot. Kind of a, a more of a uh, up-tempo kind of scene compared to the rest of the movie. Yeah, so definitely. Yeah, a lot of it is very moody and atmospheric, and this one's more of like a harder piece. But it's what I like is it's a... Um, it's kind of a, a twist on the main fi uh, antagonist's theme. Mm -hmm. Just a quicker, harder version. And a lot of the score, too, was like, I mean, as much as, as you did, Simon, a lot of it in the editing process was me. I kind of took different tracks you did, and I just kind of, like, overlaid them. Because mm -hmm. you can very faintly hear an old, uh, like, an earlier part of the theme being played under this. And so it's just a lot of screwing around and just trying to piece it all together, but... Yeah, I think you did a very good job with that, too. Thank you, yeah. It was fun, but... And, um... There's, uh, Siemens, the very... The infamous company that we totally got, uh, permission to show their logo. <laughs> no, 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 no! I kind of like no, what we did on. here, how... The warmer uh, autumn look of the movie kind of uh, deteriorates into a colder, kind of more anxiety type look. Yeah, it's kind of a subtle change here. If you didn't notice, it was um, after uh, 
He checks both of the locks on the doors. Yeah, yeah. Um, after actually, I get, after he slammed the after door. After I grab the knife, yeah. The saturation change. This was... I remember this part of the shoot being a really hectic part. I'm not... I forget why, but this I remember was, we um, were really... Rest- we were really strained for time. Yeah, it was like one of the last days that you were uh, in town before you moved. Yeah, I think this may have been the last full scene we shot. And that shot, <laughs> I hate. It's completely out of focus. <laughs> Looks so bad. Mm, here it comes. The jump scare. We actually got quite a few people with that. It was fun to show that to some people and they- see them jump at that part. I got myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just now. Yeah. <laughs> and here, of course, is my doppelganger, so we kind of re- redo the shots of the uh, intro. We got a little uh, peach fuzz coming in there. That's kind of off-putting. Honestly. A little bit. <laughs> That's... I swung the shovel very slowly. <laughs> I had to speed not it want up. to damage your camera. <laughs> speed it up in post. I think we actually shot that in reverse. And this was one of the mo- more interesting shoots as far as what we had to do to uh, achieve it. I love these two shots coming up. This one here and then the next. But um, what we essentially what we did here is Obviously, we can't duplicate me, so uh, we had uh, Mr. S- Mr. Simon here uh, dress up in my uh, antagonist character's outfit and basically drag me out. We did a few takes of this, too, if I remember right, so by the end, we were both kind of exhausted because yeah, it's, if it looks like I'm, I'm struggling, it was because I actually was. I was holding his arms down, so my arms felt like noodles, and I'm sure yours did, too, by the end of the shoot. And it was not a cold night either. We were, we were was, pretty yeah, hot. Yeah, that was a warm night. Mm-hmm. And this part, uh, going back to people questioning what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you want to tell, yeah. tell them what happened? So on this day when I was trying to get these very few simple shots, of course, believe it or not, we had more construction in our town. And I like these two uh, back-to-back shots here. But uh, we, um, there's another road closing and there was six cops all lined up, and we didn't know what was going on, but essentially what happened, this road I was shooting on, there's a bunch of people passing through, <laughs> and they see a guy, like, stuffing a shovel, all bloodied up, you know, you kind of start to question things, and of course, this is normally a, a vacant, very, uh, you know, not, not busy road at all, but on this one day in particular, we had so many people passing through. Of course, the day that we uh, yeah. need to shoot on there. <laughs> so what you're seeing right now is one of the few times there weren't a huge line of cars coming through. Mm-hmm. And this is, of course, the most different uh, piece of music you did for the movie. Yeah. It's more it's... just a softer acoustic guitar. Mm-hmm. I, had a, I had a lot of fun. I feel like... Um... I mean, pretty much I wrote all the music with just a keyboard and a guitar, so... Yeah. And it it came along really well. And uh, we got the credits, of course, the world's shortest credits, because two people worked on this movie. Mm -hmm. Um, You got camera operators. But, um, yeah, and that's essentially it. Um, Looking back on this, it's kind of interesting, because when we were doing it... uh, when we were doing it earlier, you know, the first time we tried to record this thing, it was, you know, we had seen it, this movie, so many times uh, through editing and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. I was, like, almost tired of seeing it. But now, obviously, it's been a year or so, and so it's kind of fun to look back. But, Simon, do you have any final thoughts? Um, I would probably say that that was um, the most fun project that I've ever worked on uh, yeah. with you. Um, you know, just like everything from writing the music and recording to oh, yeah. shooting scenes and, you know, putting makeup on and stuff like that. Definitely. Yeah. We it had was, a lot of fun with this. Yeah. It was extremely fun. And I think it was a, um, a good quote unquote last, uh, you know, film that we're going to shoot here. Yeah, exactly. In your hometown. <laughs> yeah. So that was really fun. Um, I think just doing the horror genre 
it was something we had never really done before. You know, we'd mm-hmm. either gone action, drama, or comedy. So to tackle a genre we're both kind of huge fans of was re- really fun. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm proud of what we came up with. So I feel like um, after we made it, I feel like my appreciation for horror films went up yeah uh, exponentially yeah. definitely definitely making so. a horror movie is not not an easy task but it was it was a really fun one mm-hmm. and, uh something that i appreciated that we did was we went more of the atmospheric route than the, mm-hmm. the gore or, you know yeah uh shock value route um but yeah it was it was a lot of fun i hopefully we are able to do something along the line kind of like it but um until then we we have this but yeah <laughs> yeah so uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, we thought this would just be a little fun one-year anniversary treat uh, for you know everyone who watched the film back when it first came out. Uh, hopefully you guys had fun revisiting this. I think both of us stayed. It was kind of fun to look back on mm-hmm. what we had shot. But Definitely. Yeah, Simon, thank you for joining me, man. Mm-hmm. Yep, thanks and, for uh, having me. Till next time, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll see you soon. See ya.